gonna start off with an M380. It's a, it's a 25,000 mile coach built in 2006, I do believe. Just a beautiful M380. We're gonna walk quickly along the, along the coaches here. This is an M450, uh, cousin to the, cousin to the, uh, the uh, 380. Only seven. Uh, and then uh, I believe this is a LXI. Beautiful coach, also from Canada. It looks like. And then we've got a PT. This one was here last year. You probably don't recognize it. Looks like a completely different coach. It has been just repainted and just uh, turned it into a gorgeous bus. Absolutely awesome. Uh, we'll get back and talk to the owner down the road. This is just a quick walk around the circle. And another PT, shorter. I think this is a shorty, a 36, I do believe. And vintage wise, we're talking, these are late 80s. Uh, this is a FC, which means forward control or forward engine. And we'll go back and do the other side of the bus, which I can split things up a little bit. And then get the other side, obviously doing a little work on the bus, which is one of the necessities you have to be able to well unless you've got a real large plastic wrench doing your own work is always well advised another lxi gorgeous coach this must be our canadian sections beautiful british columbia got their chairs off ready to go and then Next door is an LX. Uh, cousin to the LXI. Uh, has a Cummins motor as opposed to a uh, S60 Detroit. So that's where we left off. I'm just gonna sweep around the direction we just came all the way around. Little doggy going for a walk there. And next on the list is this beautiful M450. Right. Got this is the 450 and they come with a cat motor in the back. Uh, 500 maybe, maybe more. 550? I'm not sure. Uh, this was one of the last coaches that Bluebird ever built and they learned a lot of lessons by then. Uh, looks like one of the million plus, if not two million, inside and they were in the uh, 2005, six and seven vintage. Uh, this is a wide body. Um, I'm not that familiar and I admit it, uh, but this is a gorgeous bus. Looks like he's got a special coating on the front lower end there to keep it from getting uh, damaged with the rocks and the chips. A mid entry, which is unusual. Usually they're, they're up front by the driver and this is a mid entry version coming. Then we've got Endeavor, right. which I believe is a wide Okay, body. and and your coach is a mid-entry, obviously, wide body. 96. 96, and it's got an S60 in it or Detroit? Uh, Series 60. S60, okay. So uh, it's also a Detroit, but yep. Uh, yep. much more des desirable for those of you watching. Um, and uh, all steel coach, what does it weigh? Uh, the GVRW on this guy is 48.5. 48.5, so 48,500 pounds is what it weighs, and that's uh, that's the max gross weight with fuel and fluids, uh, and fully loaded. So, right. so uh, and plus whatever you're towing behind. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, so we'll we'll spin around here and get the the front view of this, and uh, there's the Citroen, and there's the wide body, and again. This one, like unlike the last one, which you can see over there with the mid entry, this one's got the front entry. And uh, probably about the same weight, just slightly less than 50,000 pounds total. All right, we're in front of a Bluebird FC, meaning the engine is in the front of the coach. And uh, there's what we call a dog house, where the motor sits underneath the cover between the passenger and the driver's seat. 
It's a 1978 FC 33 footer. Very nice coach. And it looks like another wide body. Okay. Uh, and you can hear the generator running. On these, the, the, uh, the, the motor is in the back uh, under the cowling that you lift up on the very back of the coach. And in the front is a uh, generator that produces 12, 15, some of them even as much as 20 on the, on the uh, M450. This is a PT with the engine in the back. And uh, we are gonna get a real good tour of this one. Uh, this is a, a, a one of our younger members who's uh, very tech savvy and, and we'll uh, get a, a full uh, tour by him of this coach when I get it all put together. So we'll come back to this. And again with the engine in the back, you can hear the generator running in the front. And then the next coach is round to it. A lot of uh, members put their uh, handles or their coach name up on the, the headliner where it's like what a school bus would be uh, with the uh, information and they put the coach name up there. This is a BMC, okay. Um, yeah, Bluebird had a, a, a subcorporation, I guess it was, uh, uh, part of the, maybe a division of them uh, for a while that may, was making these coaches. Uh, they, uh, basically the same kind of coach, the same, um, you know, all steel construction, and uh, they made it just a little bit more affordable for people minor minor items that they changed like instead of chrome mirrors they painted them that kind of thing nothing of, of substance was changed to, to, to detract from the durability of the coaches so BMC if you hear that BMC that is Bluebird Motor Coach uh, Corporation or company and uh, here's the other side this is a pretty coach called Pretty Penny Lots of solar. I don't know how many watts of solar up on the roof. And he also has lithiums on it. Same wide body, about 50,000 pounds almost. And uh, all steel construction. And got those solar panels tilted so they're getting the max sun you know, on this uh, cool January day. Rear engine. Oh. Roll me away. I love it. <laughs> How you doing, man? What size? Excellent. It's a 88 FC 35. 35. I knew it was long. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, eight, yeah, one of 80, 85 FC 35. Yeah, it was, what, it was 80, 88? This is an 88, yeah. When was the last year they made them? I think 89. I think they made yeah, it was like in 89. It, yeah, yeah, it's like that was one of the last, these is one of the last ones made, huh? Yeah. They got it right, though, huh? Yeah, I have to say for the most part. <laughs> I'd rather have a PT, but uh, yeah, yeah I, I just want more motor. Yeah. It's not that bad in there going down the highway, does it? Yeah, we, we can still sit there and talk. And yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. It's a lot of fun. It rolls down the highway really nice. I enjoy driving it. So There you go. All right, this is another beautiful BMC. Uh, probably... Yeah, pretty close to 40. This is one of the big ones. Wow. Nice coach. Rear engine, of course. And uh, really nice polished finish. And he's got some solar panels up on the roof. Definitely a nice coach. And we'll walk over and look at that. Uh, like he's got one of the bays open, maybe doing something. And rear engine, got a tag axle, probably 40, maybe 42, not quite sure on the length, and quite a nice coach. So everybody shows the front end, there's the, the back row that we just went down, there's the part of the front row there, and then over here, is another PT with a trailer hooked up to it. We'll go there and visit it. 
All right, a beautiful PT. All steel construction. Misbehaving. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Love the art on the side. And that's a specialty of the people, the owners. I love that gray. There's the contact information. She does fabulous work in LX. Getting new batteries, it looks like, and we're gonna come over and take a look at what they're doing in just a minute. Hey, it's starting to look pretty good. Almost like you know what you're doing. We'll know what we're doing when we get done. And you flip the switch, right? Um, beautiful coach. And again, about 50,000 pounds or thereabouts. And here's the other side. And then, and then this is an LXI. We've got the Magnum shades on the windows, which I highly like. I love those Magnum shades. Gives you a little bit of privacy, lots and lots of uh, sun uh, control. And then this is a, a new owner just pulled in with this. I think it's an LXI. Uh, I'm not sure because he's got a little bit different uh, front end going on there. And what is this? This is a wide body uh, by one of our members. And uh, they come all the way out from Indiana. And there's the other side. Uh, this is an M380 owned by yours truly. Uh, 36,000 pounds. Uh, the 400 horse Cummins. I can tell you quite a bit about it. Uh, and then there's the there's the uh, Jeep. We just got back from a trip. And here's the other side. A uh, more detailed tour is uh, uh, a to-do item for me. And one of these days I'll do that and post it.